Thank you, Sam. Welcome, everybody, to this webinar about planning the best Developer Studio access levels for your org. Developer Studio has come a long way since its original introduction, where many features have been introduced over time. It's a valued tool to develop and customize the Remedy solution. For this webinar, we are going to discuss the different level of access to work in Developer Studio when customizing an application or developing a new application solution. We will talk how enabling your org for agility. What choices for sharing and controlling access we have at our disposal. How the users know what type of access they have, as well as addressing common scenarios. Checking additional considerations, as well as related resources to find more information. Developer Studio allows you to distribute administrator access across your organization, so applications can be customized easier by business users closer to each application within the org. So, you want to allow them to make changes closer to the users who request them. However, you want to make sure the changes they make cannot affect other applications. You want to identify users who can succeed in the roles as limited administrators, empower them to take ownership of that role within their part of the org, and protect the organization from introducing unapproved changes. Fortunately, there are several features to allow this. In this presentation, we will talk through many of these features, choices, options and limitations. For example, Administrators can oversee and delegate to a team of sub-administrators access to specific objects for different projects or areas. There are several types of access we can define to work in Developer Studio. First, mention reserved objects since it is important to comment some of the object access, not to confuse with access to Developer Studio tool. If a user makes an object reserved, only this user will be able to work with this object, so be aware of this, so this property can be checked and kept in mind when developing or customizing an application. The administrator group permission allow users to have full access to all Remedy objects. Since they have full access, apply good judgment about how many or who you assign such access to. The sub-administrator group permission will allow users to have the same access, but to selected objects and applications only. The struct admin group allows users only to have access to structures, so they can customize the application, but they don't have access to the underlying data or neither are able to perform administrative tasks. The struct sub-admin group will allow users to follow the same rules as a sub-administrator and have access to structures and they can customize the application but they don't have access to the underlying data or are able to perform administrative tasks. Overlay group. It's worth to note that the overlay group is not a permission we set at the user level but a way where we can define a group to access to a specific development mode in Developer Studio. We will now check an overview of the different access types we just mentioned. Reserved objects. BMC Remedy Air System reserved objects are a special purpose data fields. Some of these fields are used in the user or group forms. Others are used for assigning group access, the distributed server option or DSO, web applications or localization. When a form contains a combination of reserved fields, the BMC Remedy AR system server identifies this form as a key form. For example, a form that contains fields with IDs 101, 102, and 104 is identified as the user form. This is because the field ID 101 belongs to the field name login name, field ID 102 belongs to the field password and field ID 104 belongs to the field group list. All these three fields are by default reserved field objects. When creating a form with reserved fields, you must avoid these special combinations just mentioned. 
to make sure that the server does not identify a form incorrectly. For full information about reserved objects ID ranges, reserved system objects, access level and more can be found in the existing documentation under the section reserved fields. Just be aware that when creating a reserved object, only the user who created it will have access to the object. Administrator We list here the features and limitations of this role. Let's talk a little about how you might use it in your org. First, just a reminder, although this presentation is specifically about assigning access for use in Developer Studio, when you add a user to the administrator group, they will have access to do far more than access the Developer Studio. They can change user passwords and add or remove access. So be aware when using this role, as it has access to the entire application configuration in your org, as well as the ability to change, modify, create or delete objects in Developer Studio. We can say that administrator user acts as a super user and it can be used to oversee other developer teams, make urgent corrections or changes in any object if required, as well as make modifications in the application configuration at any time. Users belonging to this group require to have a fixed license assigned to them, otherwise the group assignment will be ignored. So for example, it will not work if the user is assigned with a floating license and be part of the administrator group. The sub-administrator group have the following features. This role can be used if you want a dedicated user or team to look after the specific areas of your organization when developing or modifying the application. Objects can be created, modified and removed if administrative access is granted or if the sub-administrator group permissions are added to the specific objects we want the users to have access to. Assigning the role of sub-administrator comes with some limitations by default, as displayed here, unless objects have the sub-administrator group assigned to it, in which case it grants administrative access to them. If a sub-administrator needs to perform any of these actions listed here, they will need to work together with the administrator team. Sub-administrator users require too to have a fixed license assigned to them to be part of this group. Struct Admin Group Users assigned to the Struct Admin Group have the option to create, modify and delete AR server objects. When accessing to the application, they don't have access to the data and they cannot perform administrative functions. Unless the user also belongs to a group which does have access to data and administrative functions. A good reason to assign users to this group is when working or dealing with restricted data, for example. It can be used to customize the application and working with another team member with access to the data to do user testing. Being part of the struct admin group requires to have a fixed license. Struct sub-admin group. Users assigned to the struct sub-admin group follow the same rules as the sub-administration permissions group, but they don't have access to data or administrative functions unless the user belongs also to a group which does have administrative access to the object. This role can work as a sub-administrator but adding the security that has no access to data which may be restricted and can also work with other users or teams in the organization with access to data to conduct testing exercises. It also requires to have a fixed license. The overlay group is an additional feature we can define for administrator groups. However, let's talk about first about the overlays feature in the AR system which will help to understand the overlay group permission. An overlay is a copy of a BMC AR system server structure or workflow object. Overlays 
allow to add customizations to any out-of-the-box objects on a separate layer or copy without modifying the original object. Overlays help to keep the customizations during upgrades, ensuring they will not be lost because Air System upgrades only update the original objects and not their existing overlays where the customizations are located. Developer Studio offers two development modes to work with Air System objects. Best Practice Customization Mode and Base Development Mode. The Best Practice Customization Mode it is the default mode set in Developer Studio when opening the tool. We can create and manage overlays to make changes or add customizations to the out-of-the-box objects in Air System. The application upgrades will affect only the base objects and will not affect the overlays so all the changes and customizations will be intact. This means that new objects introduced on an existing base form will be part of the overlay and also, if we create an entire new form and objects being part of it, we'll have the customization type set to custom and will not be touched by any application upgrade. Being in the best practice customization mode, we will see the following objects types in the object list. Overlay objects, custom objects, and unmodified objects. The base development mode provides unrestricted access to create, modify, and delete original objects such as out-of-the-box application objects. It is intended to be used only by application developers, so be aware to who you give this access to within the organization. This development mode cannot create, modify, or delete overlay or custom objects. Being in the best development mode, we will see the following object types in the object list. Only origin objects or base objects, unmodified objects, and overlaid objects. It is important to remember this. Do not create or modify objects in base development mode since changes can be lost when BMC Remedy AR system applications and servers are upgraded. However, this is the development mode we need to use if we need to modify an original object, as we will see in one of the examples later in the presentation. To switch between development modes in Developer Studio, it can be done using the menu File, Switch Mode option, and selecting a development mode. Being able to switch between modes will be defined based on your profile as we will talk a continuation. Now, in the overlay group permission, it is defined at the group level, not at the user level. Which means, we can configure a group to allow its members to work in Developer Studio with base objects only, with overlays and custom objects only, or as a read-only in both development modes to perform some tasks depending what our requirements are in the organization. As we mentioned, the overlay group is configured at a group level, so when configuring a group with the overlay group there are several options available, and the different options configured to a group will allow to work only in best practice customization mode, base developer mode, or work only in read-only mode on all base, overlay, and custom objects. If we set the value 1 in the overlay group field, the members of the group can work only in the best practice customization mode. If we set the value 0 in the overlay group field, the members of this group can only work in base developer mode. If the value of the overlay group field is null or clear, which is the default value, the members of the group have no restrictions on access to base, overlay or custom objects. If we set the overlay group field with 9 times 9 value, the members of the group can work only in read-only mode on all base, overlay and custom objects. Working with overlay groups have the benefit to define more specifically the task of an administrator, user or team since we'll provide access a specific developer mode taking out the risk of possible mistakes. However, 
we have to be aware when setting the overlay group to a group to modify certain objects only as it can have some non-desired effects like modifying out-of-the-box objects if using the setting 0 for example so be mindful when setting this feature and making sure that users understand what can and can't do when users have assigned roles to access developer studio they will be able to know if they access Developer Studio as Administrator or Sub-Administrator. In Developer Studio, in the server icon in the Air System Navigator, will show a green badge with the letter A if accessing with Administrator privileges. This applies to the Administrator and Struct Admin roles. And when accessing to Developer Studio as a Sub-Administrator or a Struct Sub-Admin, the server icon in Air System Navigator will show a yellow badge with the letter S. In the same way, the available objects listed between administrators and sub-administrators will depend on the objects they have their group permissions assigned to. If a user does not see listed objects they expect to see or able to access, they can check the type of access they have in Developer Studio and if required, they can work with the administrator team to discuss access or visibility to certain objects depending the role in the organization. A continuation, we will check a couple of scenarios where the different access types are applied. A common scenario can be where we create a user and we want this user not able to create, modify, delete overlays and custom objects, access the data or perform administrative functions. However, we want this user to be able to create and modify base objects in base development mode. This type of access can be used, for example, to modify objects such the HPD helpdesk forms archive feature to modify the archive type or archive form which cannot be changed on an overlay by default. The steps that we will perform to create this user are create the user and add the user to the struct admin group and assign a fixed license to this user. Then we create a group with the overlay group field with value 0 and then we add this user to the group. We can use this group to grant access to system forms that are otherwise visible only to administrators. When logging in Developer Studio, the user is automatically set in base development mode. Also, while being in base development mode, this user will be able to modify, delete and create objects and based on this example, they will not have access to any data in the application and will not have the option to perform any administrative tasks. Since the group we created earlier has the overlay group 0, if in Developer Studio the user tried to change to best practice customization mode, the error code 5334 is displayed, which is self-explanatory. This type of access can be used, for example, to modify objects such the HPD Helpdesk Forms Archive feature to modify the archive type or archive form, because in the overlay, which we can see in the left-hand side, appears grey out and not being possible to change it if required. So, if we want, for example, the user to be able to access the base form of the Helpdesk and be able to make these changes, but we don't need the user to access the archive data in the application and neither be able to access any current customizations. With this type of access, the user will be able to access the base form to modify it, as we can see the options available in right hand side. In the following example, we want to create a user not able to create modify, delete, import all base overlay and custom objects. However, we want the user be able to view and export any object's definition. 
This access can be used by a user which main task could be, for example, backing up any object either for safety purposes or to maintain a repository of remedy objects. The steps to accomplish this will be we create the user and add the user to the struct admin group and we assign a fixed license to this user. We create then a group with the overlay group field with the value 9 times 9. We add this user to this group. The user will be able to switch between base development mode and best practice customization mode. While this user works in base development mode, the user will see the options available such as move fields, create fields, delete fields, cut, copy, paste, etc. However, when saving the form, an error will display so if any changes or modifications were done, will not be saved. Here is an example where on a form when either moving a field from its original position, deleting an existing field, or adding a new field, when saving the form, the following error is displayed in Developer Studio. No permissions to access object in base mode, which is what we expect to see. When the same user works in best practice customization mode, all the options will be disabled. So he or she will not be able to add any field, copy, paste, etc. However, as intended, the user will be able to export objects from both base development mode and best practice customization mode. We list here now some additional considerations to take into account. First, understand in advance the project so the correct roles can be defined and assigned to the users. Users must have administrator or sub-administrator privileges on the AR server to access Developer Studio. We have to ensure that there are enough fixed licenses available or the group assignment will be ignored. Also, do not assign an overlay group to a computed group. Assigning an overlay to a computed group will result in the error 8821 and the computed group is saved with overlay group as null. To create an administrator that access to only one development mode at a time, create a user with the following group list settings. One of the groups has overlay group sep to one and one of the groups is administrator, sub-administrator, struct admin or struct sub-admin. You can check the available documentation with more extended information about the features discussed today. For reserve fields, the documentation explains in more depth the different reserve fields available and ID ranges available in AR system. Special groups in BMC Remedy AR system contains documentation with group IDs for special group definitions and a description of the access privileges for each of these groups. The security administration documentation describes how to administer BMC Remedy AR system security such as creating users, groups, roles and access control. The administrator security role sub-administrator security role and struct admin group permissions documentation describe these groups and characteristics we have discussed today. The development modes link contains information about the two different development modes explained in the presentation as well as access restrictions available for administrators using the overlay group feature in groups. To summarize, we have talked about the types of administrative access available, we had an overview of the administrative roles and limitations, we saw some examples, we listed some considerations, and shared some resources available for you to be aware. 
Thank you everyone for attending this webinar and we hope it helps in your org to know the different administrative levels available for Developer Studio. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel BMC Remedy and Discovery for more related content.